Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel. Shawarma. Grilled meat wrapped in flatbread. Shawarma is a popular street food that originated in the Middle East, but has become widely loved and adapted in various parts of the world. The dish typically consists of thinly sliced cuts of seasoned meat, such as beef, chicken, lamb, or a mixture of these stacked in a vertical rotisserie. The meat is slowly roasted as it turns on the spit, creating a succulent and flavorful outer layer. Here is a general overview of how shawarma is prepared and served. Ingredients. Meat, typically beef, chicken, lamb, or a combination. Marinade seasoning. A mixture of spices, garlic, yogurt, and other flavorings. Flatbread usually served wrapped in flatbreads like pita or lavash. Sauces. Common toppings include tahini sauce, garlic sauce, yogurt-based sauces, or hot sauces. Vegetables. Sliced tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, and onions may be included. Additional toppings. Sometimes pickles, radishes, or shredded cabbage are added. Preparation. Marination. The meat is marinated in a mixture of spices herbs, and other seasonings to enhance its flavor. Stacking. The marinated meat is stacked onto a vertical rotisserie, allowing it to cook and self-paste as it turns. Cooking. The meat is slow cooked on the rotisserie, and slices are shaved off as needed for each serving. Serving. Assembly. Shawarma is typically served as a wrap, with the sliced meat placed on a flatbread. Toppings. Vegetables. Sauces, and additional toppings are added based on personal preferences. Rolling. The flatbread is wrapped around the filling, creating a cylindrical or cone shaped sandwich. Cutting. In some cases, the shawarma wrap is cut in half or into smaller pieces for easier handling. Bofral. Ghanaian donuts, often sweetened with sugar or honey. Bofrat also known as puff puff in some regions, is a popular West African street food and snack. It is a type of deep fried dough that is sweetened and often enjoyed as a tasty treat. Bofrat has different names in various West African countries, and its preparation may vary slightly from one region to another. Ingredients. All-purpose flour, sugar, yeast, water, salt, nutmeg, or cinnamon, optional. Oil for deep frying instructions. Activate the yeast. Dissolve a small amount of sugar in warm water. Sprinkle the yeast over the sugar water and let it sit for a few minutes until it becomes frothy, indicating that the yeast is activated. Prepare the dough. In a mixing bowl, combine the flour, sugar, and a pinch of salt. Gradually, Add the activated yeast mixture to the dry ingredients, stirring continuously. Keep adding water and mixing until you achieve a thick, smooth batter. The consistency should be similar to pancake batter. Optional. Add nutmeg or cinnamon for flavor if desired. Allow the dough to rise. Cover the bowl with a clean cloth and let the batter rise for about one, two hours, or until it has doubled in size. This allows the dough to ferment and develop flavor. Heat the oil. In a deep pan or fryer, heat oil to a suitable frying temperature, around 350-375 degree F or 175-190 degree C. Fry the buffalo. Use your hands or a spoon to drop small portions of the batter into the hot oil. The size of each buffalo can vary based on preference. Fry until the bofro is golden brown on all sides. Ensure that the inside is fully cooked by frying in small batches. Drain and serve. Once fried, use a slotted spoon to remove the bofro from the oil and place them on paper towels to drain any excess oil. Bofro is typically served warm and can be enjoyed on its own or with a dusting of powdered sugar, chichinga, 
Kanayan kebabs, or skewered meat. Chichinka is a popular street food in Ghana, West Africa. It refers to skewered and grilled meat, often sold by street vendors or at roadside stalls. The dish is known for its flavorful marinade and smoky taste from grilling. Chichinka can be made with various types of meat, but beef and chicken are commonly used. Here's a basic recipe for chicken chichinga. Ingredients. For the marinade. Chicken, cut into bite-sized pieces. Onion, finely chopped ginger, grated garlic, minced vegetable oil ground cayenne pepper, or scotch bonnet pepper. Adjust to taste for spiciness. Ground paprika ground. Cumin ground. Coriander ground. Black pepper salt. To taste skewers. Wooden or metal. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a bowl, mix together the chopped onion, grated ginger, minced garlic, vegetable oil, cayenne pepper, paprika, cumin, coriander, black pepper, and salt. Adjust the spice levels according to your preference. Marinate the chicken. Place the chicken pieces in the marinade, ensuring they are well coated. Cover the bowl and let it marinate for at least one, two hours, or overnight for more intense flavor. Thread the skewers. Preheat the grill or barbecue. If you're using wooden skewers, soak them in water for about 30 minutes to prevent them from burning during grilling. Thread the marinated chicken pieces onto the skewers. Grill the chichinga. Grill the skewers over medium-high heat turning them occasionally to ensure even cooking. Baste the chicken with any remaining marinade during the grilling process to enhance flavor and moisture. Cook. Until done, grill the chichinga until the chicken is fully cooked and has a nice char on the outside. The cooking time will depend on the thickness of the chicken pieces. Serve. Once cooked, Remove the chichinga from the skewers and serve them hot. They are often enjoyed on their own, or with a side of sliced onions, tomatoes, or a spicy pepper sauce. Fried fish, seasoned and deep fried fish. Fried fish is a popular and delicious dish enjoyed in many cuisines around the world. The basic concept involves coating fish in a seasoned batter or flour mixture and frying it until it's golden brown and crispy. Here's a simple recipe for fried fish. Ingredients. Fish fillets. Common choices include tilapia, catfish, cod, or haddock. All-purpose flour, cornmeal or breadcrumbs. Optional for extra crispiness. Eggs for an egg wash. Milk for the egg wash. Salt and pepper to taste paprika. Garlic powder or other seasonings of choice vegetable oil for frying instructions. Prepare the fish. Pat the fish fillets dry with paper towels to remove excess moisture. Season the fish with salt, pepper, and any other desired seasonings. You can use a combination of paprika, garlic powder, or your favorite herbs. Create the coating. In a shallow bowl, combine flour with additional seasonings. You can also add cornmeal or breadcrumbs to the flour for extra crispiness. Make the egg wash. In another bowl, whisk together eggs and milk to create an egg wash. Coat the fish. Dip each fish fillet into the seasoned flour mixture, ensuring it's evenly coated. Next, dip the coated fish into the egg wash, covering it completely. Fry the fish. Heat vegetable oil in a frying pan or deep fryer to a medium-high temperature, around 350-375 degree F or 175-190 degree C. Carefully place the coated fish fillets into the hot oil, a few at a time, ensuring not to overcrowd the pan. Fry the fish for three, five minutes per side, or until they are golden brown and the internal temperature reaches 145 degree F, 63 degree C. 
cooking times may vary depending on the thickness of the fillets. Drain and serve. Once the fish is cooked, use a slotted spoon to remove them from the oil and place them on paper towels to drain any excess oil. Serve hot. Serve the fried fish hot with your favorite side dishes, such as tar jollof rice, one pot rice dish with tomatoes, peppers, and spices. Jollof rice is a popular and flavorful West African dish made with rice, tomatoes, and a variety of spices. It's a one pot dish that is widely enjoyed in many countries, each with its own variation. Here's a basic recipe for Nigerian jollof rice. Ingredients. Two cups long grain parboiled rice. One four cup vegetable oil or palm oil. One large onion, finely chopped three. Four medium sized tomatoes. Blended one red bell pepper. Blended one. Two scotch bonnet peppers, adjust to taste. Blended three cloves of garlic. Minced one teaspoon ginger. Grated two teaspoons tomato paste. Optional. One teaspoon thyme. One teaspoon curry powder. Two bay leaves. Two cups chicken or vegetable broth salt and pepper to taste optional. Cooked chicken, fish, or vegetables for added protein instructions. Rinse the rice. Wash the rice thoroughly in cold water until the water runs clear. Drain and set aside. Prepare the pepper blend. In a blender, combine tomatoes, red bell pepper, scotch bonnet peppers, and blend until smooth. Saute onions and aromatics. Heat the vegetable oil or palm oil in a large pot over medium heat. Add finely chopped onions and saute until they become translucent. Add garlic and ginger. Stir in minced garlic and grated ginger and saute for an additional minute until fragrant. Incorporate tomato paste, optional. If using tomato paste, add it to the pot and cook for a few minutes, stirring continuously. Add pepper blend. Pour the blended pepper mixture into the pot and cook for about 10, 15 minutes, stirring occasionally until the mixture thickens and the oil begins to separate. Season with spices. Add thyme, curry powder, bay leaves, salt, and pepper. Adjust the seasoning according to your taste. Add rice. Stir in the washed rice and ensure it is well coated with the pepper mixture. Pour in broth. Pour in the chicken or vegetable broth. You can also use water if broth is unavailable. Cook the jollof rice. Bring the mixture to a boil. Then reduce the heat to low. Cover the pot with a tight-fitting lid and simmer for about 20, 25 minutes, or until the rice is cooked and has absorbed the liquid. Check for doneness. Once the rice is cooked, fluff it with a fork, and you can optionally add cooked chicken, fish, or vegetables for added protein. Serve. Remove the bay leaves and serve the jollof rice hot. It's often enjoyed on its own or with sides like fried plantains, coleslaw, or a side salad.